Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of The Users. Today I have a quick episode involving something that I have come up with involving the new snapshot Minecraft 14w18b. Um, it's not exactly new, it's been out for a few days, but it is a, I would say, invention that could be very useful to a bunch of popular redstoners or even map makers. Um, like Seth Bling and Etho and Zip Crowd guys like them. It is a self-contained, self-propelled redstone engine that I think could be very useful. I know we've all been wanting wanting these for a while. I've seen engines built in mods like Red Power, uh, plenty of airships built there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to do it, and then I'm going to talk a little bit about some things that could allow this to grow into some amazing builds. Alrighty everybody, here we go. I'm going to show you how to build the engine. You can build it at any height. What you need to do is you need to get uh, five slime blocks, one normal piston, one sticky piston, and two blocks of redstone. So what you do is you build a two by one bar of slime blocks, diagonally place the redstone blocks, put down a sticky piston, and whatever direction you put the sticky piston is the direction it will be facing. So this engine will move this direction since that's the side that the sticky piston is on. So you place down three slime blocks above on the opposite side of the sticky piston and then place a normal piston on that side right next to the redstone block that was currently in place and the engine will move. All right, so I do believe part of this is due to a bug or the current bug with the way pistons behave. Um, but until that gets fixed, this could be very useful, or until somebody builds a better design. Um, the engine itself will continue to the edge of the loaded world and end up like this once you are done, or once it, reach, once it reaches the end of the world. And all you have to do is move this piston back into this slot right here, either by pushing it from the back or just manually replacing it. Another thing also is that this engine type can move in any direction, north, south, east, or west, whatever, but I have not been able to get it to move vertically up and down. And another problem is that once it does hit the loaded chunk boundary that it will break and you will have to fix it. I have yet to be able to come up with a uh, engine that works with the size requirement of 12 blocks being pushed that can fix itself and keep itself moving and I've also yet to be able to come, with one that can, come up with one that can move in every direction like Seth Bling's one that you may have seen using command blocks that could move in any direction. Now one thing that could greatly improve the capabilities of this engine since it is close to the maximum piston capacity is if pistons got an improved way of handling structures since the pistons can only push 12 blocks right now see 12 block structure it'll push it just fine but if we add a 13th block it won't move see so if we could possibly make it so that multiple pistons pushing on the same structure could act collectively so two pistons 12 plus 12 equals 24 so this could theoretically push 24 blocks but it doesn't so if we could possibly get that functionality included I could see these expanding greatly and even entire structures moving across maps. So if slash when that happens I will be extremely happy and I will be looking forward to everything that comes out of the redstone community. But other than that, thanks for watching guys. This has been Paris from the users and I'll see you next time. Bye!